And he's appreciative of that, the fact that the league would schedule him around that time to work this game. And Kevin McGuire is an ex-NHL yes, player himself. And here is the face-off controlled by the Penguins. Popovich spins it over to Darius Kasparaitis, and Kasparaitis dumps it right up the boards, and in behind Patrick Valim. Might have an immediate uh, icing ball. No, the play missed by Laukin in the center by the Penguins. But comes to the right point. Popovich takes a shadow to be blocked. And picked up now by Magnus Arvidsson. Comes a rink of pulling back. <laughs> Chase will lose the puck. A quick shot to the goal by Hosa. Stopped by Barrasso. The rebound. Jumps free behind the net. Raddick Bonk. Bonk trying to feed it back in front of the goal. And the Penguins crank it back to the near board. And Pittsburgh with it. And they get it up to the blue line, but not out. Marion Hosa danced with that biscuit. Hosa still with a puck to the left point. And a hard shot by Phillips on a snapshot. Missed the net. Andrew Ference. Finding a breaking Yarmer Yager in the pass to the left side to Kit Miller. Going to Robert Lang. It goes by him. Here's Lager. Right side of Yager. And he missed the net. He hit the side of the goal. He had a wide open cage to shoot at on the short side on the goal van side of Patrick Lalee. Rosevall gets to the puck. And his pass through center ice. Sardino will drop pass from Rosoff. Too hard to pass off the leg of Barnaby. Barnaby comes in. He got bumped in the play. I don't know. The Ottawa defenseman. I don't understand what Lager was doing there. And right side pop of it for the net. And that's going to be a save by Patrick Lalim. I'm still trying to figure out what Grant Ledger was doing. It looked as though he thought the play was going to stop. Look at the red shirt swarm at center ice against the Penguins. And the Senators trying to stop the Penguins from coming through center ice. Here's Kovalev guarding down that left wing. Right to center it. Still goes after the puck. Goal. That didn't happen in front for Straka. Backhand shot. Lalim with a good glove save on Marty Straka down low. And Lalim was leaning and Straka put the shot right down low on his glove end side. That, that's all Alexei Kovalev. Here comes Yager and of course the Ottawa Senators without the services of Alexei Yashin. One motion to Robert Lang. It comes instead now to Kip Miller on the off wing right side. He comes down with a wrist shot. Jason York got a stick out to block that. To the right point to Ferentz. Going to have a slap shot it. And went off the stick of Lalim. Carries over to Slager. Back towards the net. Loose puck. Here's Yager coming right down the alley. His shot. Hey! Shoots and scores, and he beats the lean like a redded mule. The Penguins take a one nothing lead. Well, all you can say is calm, cool, and collected. Ottawa center is scrambling around. Penguins just shooting the puck on the net. Not real hard shots. Yarmer picks his play up. Here is Peter Popovich now. Over to the near side to Jan Herdina. And let's get the opening goal. Barnaby's hooked up high. It'll be a penalty coming up here against Chris Phillips. We're getting the high stick into Matthew Barnaby. See how aggressive that Ottawa center is. Penalty killer up high at Marty Straka. Trying to make him keep it away from Yarmir. So as you know, and the penalty killing. Here's uh, Kovalev in front of backhand shot block. Picked up now with the center to Patrick Tavert. This is Titoff. Titoff turning on the play. Good hit by Jason York trying to force the puck away from him. Does come high in the air, but the Penguins gather it in. They've dominated here in the zone on the power play. Yager with a puck. Miss shot. He shoots and scores. Yager's second goal. And the Penguins have a 2 nothing lead. Out getting the fast lane. Grandma, the bingo game is ready to roll. Yager's on a tear. This is the most aggressive I've seen the Penguins power play all year. Here comes Kovalev. He cuts inside with a beautiful move, and he fires that one. That would have gone right through to Center Avenue had it gone through the net. Yager again looks for the puck. He's, he, Yarmer Yager's at his best. If he can come through the neutral zone with speed. Ooh, look out here. He steals right in front of Gensel. He turns and fires. What a shot that was. Oh, my goodness. Yarmer Yager has the hat trick. And Lalim doesn't know whether to cry or wind his watch. And neither do the Ottawa Senators. An incredible goal by 68. Well, what a lapse in judgment that was for the Ottawa Senators. You got the best player in the world coming down for checking. And you have a miscue like that. Rospel face off and wide of the net. And Barrasso has an easy period for the Penguins in his debut. Once again, coming back with a pin. Well, Ottawa's been a strong team in the second period. Now scoring teams 27 to 15, including a big uh, five spot last night against the Atlanta Thrasher. Marty will chase it down at center ice. He overskated on the play, allowing the Senators to pick it up. Here they come. A hooking play here is going to result in a penalty against Guillermo Titov. They have changed their penalty killing, and uh, fruition has come to them. It's called baby steps. Take a little out of time. Oh, oh, Tommy Barrasso just swung his stick at an oncoming uh, Radic Bonk, and now Andrew Ferris and Sean McEachern push and shove one another. Marianne Hosa comes over, and the Penguins. Ian Moran gets in the middle of that, too. 
Barrasso came heavily with that stick over the top of the net. And he may have gotten away with one there. You see how aggressive the Penguins penalty killers are? Making, making the Ottawa Senators move that puck very quickly and not give them time to set up. Right back in the right wing corner. Dackel comes in. Janssen got a piece of him. Sends him flying on his wallet. Fisher picks up the mail, looking somewhere to uh, deliver it to. Knocked away. Here come the Penguins back, and Yager's got the puck with Barnaby. Two on one. Yager left side, cuts inside, goes to Barnaby. He shoots and scores, and it's 4 nothing Pittsburgh. Oh, wow, B. Cow kick. Everything Yager does tonight turns the gold, and Barnaby, the recipient of that great pass, he drilled it in. Matthew Barnaby's second goal of the season. Armin Yager registered his 900th NHL point. Barnaby gets the goal, his second of the year, and Lang and Yager will get the helpers, and Ron Tugnut will come in to replace Patrick Laleem. Well, you know, you got you look at Patrick Laleem. The goals are not his fault. They're giveaways, they're break, they're, they're two on ones. A defenseman makes a bad play on, but a four nothing lead by the Penguins. I, Jacques Martin figured, hey, that's enough for this guy. Here comes Marty Straka right down the lane. Shoots it off the blocker of Ron Tugnut. Around it goes all the way to the left side. Kovalev, right side pass. Straka back to Kovalev. Kovalev lets it rip towards an head. Tugnut made the pad save. The puck bounces free. And Magnus Arvidsson unable to clear. Robert Lang of the Penguins. Just neatly on the near side. Kovalev to the right side. The Yager fakes the shot. Moves inside. There he is again right there. Fires it off the post. And it jumps up into the seats. Oh, great balls of fire. That should have been goal number four there. He had Tugnut at his mercy, and look at him with a smile on his face. He knows that that was number four. Orenka, tiny Michael Roseball. A lot of them are just happy to be able to come back and watch the Penguins play. Here's Roseball moving inside, a wrist shot. Tugnut will make that stop. Here's Kovalev darting through, comes against uh, Redden. A pretty little pass, T-top right in front. There's a man there, and struck. I can't beat Tugnut one-on-one. Ottawa Senator Marty Straka will try again, and it deflects off red and then goes wide to the cage one more time. Kekrin's little drop pass, nobody there. Morozov with a pretty pass ahead to Herdina, being hooked from behind by a quick-moving Juno. Well, Juno showed his wheels there, catching Herdina. Juno in the slot area, right side to Benny Prospel. Prospel going behind the Penguin net. Around back now, and a heavy shot towards the net. Barrasso leaning back, but makes the save on Grant Ledger. The auto center is trying to pick their game up. Trying to charge at Tom Barrasso in the Penguins defense, but you will notice last game too, if the goaltender makes a save, the Penguins are in front of their goaltender battling and playing with a lot of emotion. That was Vinny Prospel who's trying to throw Peter Popovich down on Barrasso while he was laying down. Yep. John Pernival certainly is that. His brother Marcel, of course, played in the National Hockey League also. And Moroz up behind the man, comes in and scores! He puts it by the outstretched glove of Tugnut, and Moroz up catches in. And the Penguins now lead 5 to nothing. Oh, scratch my back with a hacksaw. Moroz up with that speed. Senators again. And a backhand shot to the net. That's Red who made the play. Stopped by Barrasso. He's on his backside. He's on it jams the net, but the Penguins have the puck. And here comes Kip Miller with a trailing uh, Slager and Yager. Kip Miller looks. He can take the shot himself, and Tugnut snares it right out of the air to hold on. And the Penguins having a little trouble here clearing the puck out of their own end. This is the best sustained threat the Senators have had for quite some time. Prosville along the goal line trying to step it in. He couldn't do it. Arvidsson takes command of it. His backhand attempt. Barrasso stops the play, holds the puck, and gets a face off. And you can feel the momentum changing here a little bit. This man, he can scoff him. Yes, he could uh, eat the whole sugar cane he, field. He weighs 110 pounds. Yeah. yeah. He hate guys like that. Slager could not get it out. Deneen hammers it right off Barrasso's arm. And time has run out. The scoreboard reads Pittsburgh 5 and Ottawa nothing. The Penguins scoring five goals on 12 shots. So what else is new? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> on Johnson, off the outstretched glove. What happened there to Arvidsson? Oh, that was a strange play. They call quickly by the trainer. He may have had a stick caught in the uh, in the boards because the Penguins went to play the puck. Janssen played it up, and it came towards Arvidsson, and Arvidsson, he's holding his right arm. Or, or his maybe left the left, left arm. arm. I'm his elbow. Yeah. You know what? It, 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 it happens all the time. The seams in the glass. 
your, your, all of a sudden your elbow pad might slide down a little bit and you just kind of just rip it along. And he looks like he hurt his elbow somewhere along the line or, or the forearm. Wade Redden trying to get it on net. He couldn't do it. And up ahead it comes to Stephen Leach. He may shoot it from here. Does. Okay, well, reaches out to make the save on Stephen Leach. The Penguins have two road games coming up tomorrow night at Carolina and then Tuesday at Buffalo. Buffalo losing tonight 2 0 to St. Louis. Here comes Ledger in front and they try and break the scheme here. Dackle shot and he missed the goal. He had Barrasso down and out, but he couldn't find the net. And the Penguins recover nicely and there's Titoff again. Right in the middle of it all. Slager knocks down one of the Senators and there'll be a penalty coming up here. Slager got hurt. Slager's going to be slow in getting up. He collided with Waugh and Slager's yeah, he's looking now and I don't think he's hurt as bad as is what he's showing here on the ice. I don't think. Now Slager's is going to be going off to the locker room. The way he reacted and first got up, it looked like he tried to get up under his own power, and then he couldn't do it. That's shaking that knee. That's what they call, it's probably a Charlie horse that's happening. And he gets a penalty <laughs> in addition to it all. Yeah, that insult to injury. No pun intended. Wow, it's a perfect fitting uh, scenario for it. Relaying the puck into the corner. Bonk tries to center. The Penguins trying to cover McEachern. Loose in front. Backhander by Bonk. Goes wide. Barrasso was out of the net. The shot by Bonk. Miss the cage. Well, the penalty killers for the Penguins are very tired right now. Ottawa again to the net. That's stopped by Barrasso. And the shot on the rebound by Red and Miss. Gasparetta is trying to crank it out of the zone, and he does. Makes the heat out of a hot kitchen. The Penguins trying to hurriedly make a change here. Backhanded away up in the atmosphere. Flying down by Yanni Lachlan. He gave it away. Robert Lang. Wristing one off the blocker. The rebound. Leach put it back on net. And Tugnut has command of that puck. Oh. On the net. Roosevelt took a hit. He went down off the skates. And Kevin Deneen is going to be flying down here for a penalty. And that opens the door for the Penguins here. The third power play chance for the Pens on the night. This is Prospel. On the right side, Traverse tries to get a little room. Prospel goes towards the goal. Barrasso swept it away. Traverse right back to the cage. Goble has been out here what seems like forever. He's knocked down. Play will go on. Barnaby give away. Here's McEachern cutting for the net. He hit the post to the right of Barrasso. Back it comes to Lapinen. Lapinen towards the goal. Barrasso got a stick on that. So McEachern caught the pipe as Big Ben struck one for the former Penguin. Quick delivery back into Ottawa territory. Wade Redden. Snap a long lead pass to Dackle. Rink wide. Arvidsson coming quickly to the Penguin zone. They stay on side and a wrist shot. And up in the air again is Barrasso to take it away. Michael Fisher tried to sneak that one by Tommy on the upper corner. Barnaby has played in a lot of games like this. Where the other team hasn't scored goals. <laughs> when he did with Dominic Hasek. Four seconds to go, and Barrasso's return is triumphant. A shutout, his 35th in his career, 22nd in a Penguin uniform, and he blanks the Ottawa Senators here tonight by the score of five to nothing. Pretty impressive return. He did a very good job. You know what? Give the players some credit. First couple of minutes, they're a little, little uh, hectic in front of them. They settled down. They really protected them. And as good as he was in posting the shutout, he's not the player of the game. Yarmir Yager stole the show. He is the Jeep player of the game. And what a performance for the league's leading point getter, Yarmir Yager.